it's time. The Beaner Beamer is going to the pick and pull. Alright, I'm doing this with a front camera, but I am about to pull the BMW with a rope to the pick and pull. Good thing it's only like two blocks away. Alright, so you guys are on, uh, just sitting there on the seat right now. And um, definitely one of the most sketchiest things I've done with a car. Uh, maybe aside from lifting up Martin's car on all four feet, you know, when we had it up on all four because the jack stands when we took the exhaust off a couple videos back. But uh, this is definitely sketchy. And it's not really the, like, I'm pulling it. Like, right now I'm pulling perfectly fine. It's that when I have to stop. Okay, please don't go because I can't stop, dude. There we go. It's when I stop and I have to go again because launching is not easy because you got to make sure you have tension in the rope first and then go. And uh, this is the first time I do this, so... Uh, yeah, it's not that easy. Um, we traded because uh, I was having a hard time moving the BMW, so my dad's pulling me now. See, the little Tacoma can, can haul pretty good. This car isn't braking very good, though. Considering the facts that, you know, the car's completely off. You have to go, like, really hard on the brakes, or I could just pull the heat brake. Look at the poor BMW just sitting there. It's going bye-bye. It's time for it to find a new home. That isn't my driveway. All right, guys. So I was just—I just got out of the doctor's office, and I was just—I uh, had just edited the first part of this video, which you guys have seen, me uh, delivering the BMW to the pick and pull. And I realized it was only like a minute long, so I need some more content. So uh, here we are. I am at a Chevy dealership. We're just gonna go walk around, uh, look at some trucks because I mean, I—I I do want one anyways. So I'm gonna go look at some prices and maybe go look at some Camaros over here. So yeah, let's go walk around. Maybe we can get a, an idea of what I need to save up for in the near future. All right guys, so we're here at Chase Chevrolet and look what they have on the showroom floor. It's a brand new Z01 Lee and a Hot Wheels Edition RS, I think, or V, yeah, it's an RS, it's a V6. And a Z01. They have some pretty nice cars on the lot right now. 14 Stingray. Anybody looking for a Stingray? This one is 46. Oh, it's got competition seats with a 8-speed auto. Let's see what else we have in here. This is what I would like. If I have the if I had the money with me right now, I would take this home right now. What do you guys think? Should I trade in the Camaro? Clickbait, trade it in the Camaro for a Silverado. I really love this truck. Let's, let's just hop in here. It's got the full size LTC screen or the top of the line screen, my link system. This is an LT, right? Yeah, this is an LT. But it has the, you know, nice screen. It's got all the nice stuff. Don't, don't forget to ask for me, man. All right, if you guys come here, make sure to ask for that guy right there. <laughs> I'll right. hook you guys up. Right. It's got the cloth seats. It's really nice. If I have the money, if I had the money with me, you know, had it at all. I would take this home. Okay, I think I saw one Lee over there. So we're just gonna walk over there and see if uh, I'm correct. Wow. If Alec was here, I know he would be in love. Because this is what he wants. Except I think he wants a black one. We got the nice one Lee rims. The quad tips. one Lee spoiler. Personally, I wish the one Lee came with the clear tail lights hop inside try not to hit the car next door that's why I'm taking so long oh oh these Ricardos feel so much nicer than my base ba um, basic seats in my SS well it's hot in here though see Ricardos it's really nice if you guys are looking for a brand new one Ali J Chevrolet got a red one SS or if you want a Z01 there's one inside let's get out of here kind of hot all right so if I do get a drag car ever in the future which I might I would probably be getting a truck like this a 2500 with a Duramax it is um, pretty basic looking outside but it's got some nice amenities inside it's got the nice little leather padding on the door and all that the four uh, wheel drive adjustability it's got the screen, the little head unit in the middle. Uh, it does have cloth seats. 
which I wouldn't mind actually. I prefer it if it's gonna be like a work truck. I wouldn't have to worry about leather ripping or anything. It's nice interior, it's not too luxurious. I mean, it's a truck. Couldn't ask for much more. Four wheel drive, see, LT. It's got the huge exhaust tip. And this is, I think, the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. I don't know if these are LLYs, I think, or, or LP5s. I'm not sure. I need to get more uh, familiar with my truck talk. But this isn't even lifted yet, and the hood's already, like, almost on my neck. I'm not that tall either, but it gives you a pretty good idea of how, how tall this truck is. Um, here we go. Yep, we got the 6.6 .6 liter heavy-duty. Duramax engine. Now, this is what I want, but I'll probably end up getting a gasser first and then eventually a diesel. Or I'll just say screw it and go straight into the diesel because this one is 52,000 and the gasser that I was looking at over there, the black one, was I think 45, but it already had tires and a lift kit. And that, I'm gonna have to buy tires and a lift kit for it almost immediately. But this is, I still have a lot of time to think about this because I, I do want a truck. I am going to get a truck eventually. I don't know if I want like a Gasher like that one, which is really nice, or a Duramax. I like this one a little bit more than the first one I showed you guys because it has the color match bumper and the other one had the ugly chrome. But uh, that one's pretty much the same. I looked at it earlier. I think this one has leather interior though. Uh, this one is really nice. The color is amazing. If you can, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it like has a sparkle in it almost looks like glitter and this one is an LTZ fully equipped we hop in here we have the four-wheel drive adjustability the my link we have the third seat in the front it's not the connected dash back seats are leather as well I mean this one is pretty nice and it's a Z71 so it's kind of like if you guys know who guitar McGinn ZL1 is in Pennsylvania Kind of like his, except he has the small doors. You got plenty of lug room back here. I sat back here earlier and had plenty of space. Uh, these rims are plastic dipped. You can tell they're plastic dipped. I would get off-roading rims probably anyways, like fuel, fuel rims or something. Plastic dipped uh, bow tie emblem. How much do they want for this one? Because this is an LTZ model with the C71 package, so this is a pretty in pretty top of the line and it's four-wheel drive they want 42 so almost the same amount as the other one that's over there the black one but this one is an LTZ it's the 5.3 liter uh, four-wheel drive and it's got 21,000 miles so this isn't that bad uh, if I didn't have a Camaro payment right now I'd probably be buying the truck yeah I like this one let's just do clickbait right here I bought a new truck this one's a little bit more basic. This is the 2014, so this is the refresh model. This is the the release when they first came out with this generation. And this one is an LS with options, I think. Because it has a screen. It has a C71 door sill step right there. Uh, it is C71. And, yep, it's an LT. I thought it was an LS because of the rims. The rims are the uh, basic rims. And then we have a Heavy Duty Sierra. This one's pretty nice. It's 2013. It's a little bit older. Uh, not a too big of a fan of the rims or the fender flares. Oh, it's got a nice leather interior. Uh, no my link or I don't know what it's called in GMCs. GMG, GMC link. I'm kidding. I don't. I don't really know what it's called. If you guys enjoyed that little just tour of the dealership, just looking at a few cars. Uh, I'm not necessarily shopping for a car right now, but I am looking at prices because in the future I am getting a truck and I thought I would just throw in the 1LE because it's clean. It's really clean 1LE, bright red and everything. But I want to give a special thank you to Chase Chevrolet for letting me come out here and film. And uh, let's get back home. We even got some more trucks back here. Got like 20, so no, like maybe 15 Silverados over here. Oh, more. They got more over there. Man, if you're looking for a Silverado, this dealership is definitely the one to go to. They have tons of them. Uh, gotta get back in the Tahoe and drive home and then I got some news to tell you guys uh, preferably not or not really how do I say this it's not really the best news 
But I'll get back to the house and tell you guys in the camera. We got that FRS and look at that the Prelude. Look at it. It slammed. Look at it. It talks. Oh my God. Honda people. All right, so I know I said this is kind of bad news. And well, it kind of is. I know how I had told you guys, I think in a previous video, that I was going 85 and I'm going to get a headers and a tune, possibly a proper cold air intake and all that for the Camaro. Now, um, I wasn't going to do all this, but the way things are looking right now, I don't, it just, it's not beneficial for me to mod this car anymore. Just because, honestly, just for the flex fuel system, I paid $180, right? And I have the kit in my room. Uh, I can install it myself, but then I'm going to have to buy injectors, which is uh, $500. And then for a tune, it's another $500. And then the headers are $200. And then I'm going to get high flow cats and then all that. And it's, it's a lot of money that I'm putting into it. And um, this car, I drive it. we drive it a lot on the weekends. We've had it for a, a little bit over a year, like a year and a half almost. And we went from 17,000 miles to 33,000 miles. So we almost doubled the mileage in a little bit less than, or a little bit more than a year. So having the car being not street legal by going headers, E85 and all that, what I want to do to this car, it's going to be really pushing it. I mean, I have window tints on the car already. I don't have plates because they haven't arrived. I've, it's been over a year and they still haven't arrived. And I just don't want to push it further. Uh, I don't want to be really pushing my luck more than I already am uh, to get pulled over and get a ticket. Now, that isn't the only reason. The other reason is I do want to keep this car for a long time. And I know as soon as I'm going to start modding it, I'm going to want more and more and more power. And uh, after headers, E85, and colder intake, the next thing would be head and cam. Uh, and putting that much power into the car, eventually I'm going to blow up the. I'm either going to blow up the engine, break a piston, or gonna have to put even more and more money into it because i'm gonna keep wanting more power and honestly i just don't want to be putting in so much money in this car because i i want to just keep it mostly for the most part you know reliable and stock that way i can have it for a long time i want to be able to have this car even after i'm out of high school out of college or out of whatever i'm doing after high school after i move out of the house i mean i want to have this car for a long time if it's possible even after my after myself like i i would love for this car to be able to be my kids one day, I mean, they're probably not gonna like it because it's gonna be old, but I want to keep this car for a long time and modding it, it's gonna make it well, one, it's gonna be a lot of money, and two, it's uh, it's not gonna be as reliable anymore. So, the plan is the reason the other day, too, or earlier in this video, it was yesterday or two days ago, but earlier in the video, I took the BMW to the pick and pull, got a little, I think, 147, I got 147 for it, so $47 more than what I paid. But the reason I did that is because I'm making space here because we already have three cars right now and that was our fourth car and we only have a two car driveway and then the yard. And uh, I did tell you guys I'm going to get a new project car which I might be bringing home this weekend hopefully if everything goes as planned. I should bring it home Saturday or Sunday. And it's a, it's a 2002 or I don't know if it's a 2002 it might be a 99 I'm not sure what year it is but it's a what is it a third or no, like a fourth. Yeah, I think that's a, considered a fourth, a fourth gen Mustang, uh, GT with the four six or four seven. I'm not sure what body, what engine size it is. I know it's four something, but it's the. I think they're two valves. I think that's what they're they're called two valves or something like that. And uh, I'll build that car, and I'll put money into that. I'll I'll make it non street legal. I'll make it fast or fast ish because I know they're not gonna be like crazy fast. But if I want to blow up the engine in that car, it's not gonna hurt me as much as if I damage this car uh that car i can go and ram it into a wall if i get bored and i really won't care i mean it's it is gonna be a lot of money still i'm gonna it's a thousand dollar car so it's not gonna be like whatever but um i can you know screw around with it a lot more and that's essentially what the bmw was gonna be for but the bmw was just too many problems with the wiring that we had screwed up and a lot of things were already wrong in a sense from when we got it uh, including, you know, the fuel pump switch and the auto the transmission. It was an automatic, so that was the main problem. But as soon as we bring in the Mustang, that's when I'll start content when I actually mod in a car. This car is probably going to stay stock. Uh, I know some of you guys really wanted to, or I know some of you guys are really looking forward to me modding this. Unfortunately, I won't be doing that. And also, I will not be going to Vegas with Xbox, or uh, not with Xbox. With the, I will not be going to Vegas with the head turners. Uh, I know I had said I was going to go with Martin and all them, but... Uh, 
financial things are coming up. We're trying to move out of this house, and uh, we can't be spending money on a trip to Vegas right now. So maybe next year for whatever anniversary we have next year or, you know, a huge cruise coming up soon eventually maybe. I don't know. Um, but this whole month of May, I'm probably not going to be going to too many car meets. Uh, I will still make YouTube content. I will find something to do, but I won't be going to too many car meets because I am trying to save up to build the Mustang. I finish paying off this Camaro this year because uh, as you guys saw earlier in the video, I want a truck really bad. And uh, I have to finish paying off this car before I can get a truck and, you know, also have extra money to mod the, the Mustang that's coming here shortly. But anyways, that's all I wanted to tell you guys in today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed me dropping off the Beaner Beamer at the pick and pull and struggling to pull that thing with the Tacoma. Uh, also, special shout out to Chase Chevrolet for letting me go out there and film a few of their trucks and the Camaros. Uh, I will be going back there uh, every now and then, uh, you know, do a little update for you guys. If you guys uh, would like to see their inventory updates, I can go over there and show you guys what they have. That way, if you guys are looking for something in particular, I can go and see if they have it there and let you guys know. That way, you guys can go buy it off of them. Um, and that's the update on my Vegas trip that got canceled, unfortunately. And the build on the Camaro was completely canceled. I know you guys are probably going to be disappointed with that. I might lose some subscribers. Maybe I might not. But the Mustang build is coming. So if you guys do want to see a car get built, stay tuned. The Mustang build will be coming. Hopefully. Um, me and my dad had agreed that we're going to go get it this weekend. It's only down the street. I just got to pay the guy. And uh, I will at least give him half of the money by this weekend. And uh, as long as nothing goes you know, south, should be going down this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video though. Uh... I'll be, I hope, hopefully I can do more videos like this where I just drive to like a dealership or drive out somewhere and just do a little review or do a little like walking around for you guys. But anyways, I don't want to rant on for too long. If you guys want more information on what anything that I've said in this video, you go, feel free to DM me. Uh, I will be doing more videos at Chase Chevrolet and thank you guys for watching. Peace out.